we will be doing a neck dart which I will connect to the original tip of the bus dart. I'll connect this dart line here and from the original waistline I'll connect a straight line from the tip of the original bus dart to the waist and I will extend this to the adjusted waistline this way here. Now on this point because I will be folding this and using the regular bus dart or side dart to create these darts I will connect from the end of this dart allowance to the original point of the dart a straight line and I will connect from the original point of the dart to the end of the dart allowance or dart line a straight line I'll cut this waist dart line and I will cut the neck dart line I will pin the block pattern to the new pattern paper and here I will fold this regular bus dart and pin the dart lines together. Then I will align the tip of the bus points here, pivot this and manipulate the cut pattern so that we get an equal dart allowance distance on the neck dart and on the waist dart. I'll pin the black pattern on the new pattern paper. Now I will have to make adjustments here. We will move the original tip of the bus point on the neck dart one inch up. And I will connect this adjusted tip of the bus point to the dart allowance line this way. And I will also connect the adjusted tip of the bus point to the end of the neck dart line this way. And here on the waist dart, I'll also go down one inch. As you can see, I'm centering my, my, my dart point between this space here of the dart allowance. And from there, I will connect it to the end of the waist dart line. And also connect the tip of the adjusted bust to the end of the waist dart line. Now I will be tracing the corner of the center front and the corner of the neckline and I will also mark the neckline curve. I'll also mark the neckline curve here until the corner of the neckline curve and the shoulder dart. I will also mark the corner of the shoulder line and the corner of the armhole. I'm marking the armhole curve until the corner of the armhole curve and the side seam and I will mark the corner of the side seam and the waistline I'll mark the corner of the adjusted waistline and the corner of the center front line I'll also mark this center front line here now I can remove these pins I will be connecting the markings for the center front I'll be connecting the markings of the neckline curve. I'll be connecting the neckline curve on this side of the pattern. And I will be connecting the shoulder line this way. And here, I'll be connecting the markings of the armhole curve line. With the curve ruler, I will be connecting the markings of the side seam. Okay? Now, I will be folding the neck dart line. Okay, and I'll pin this together. I align the neck dart line to the other neck dart line and I will also fold the waist dart line this way and align the waist dart line to the other waistline dart this way. And I will pin this together. Okay. So from here, I can connect the waistline by using the curve ruler. I will connect the corner of the waistline and the side seam to the corner of the center front and the corner of the waistline. 
So I can cut my pattern from the waistline. The side seam line. The armhole curve. I'm cutting the center front line. Then I'll cut the shoulder line and I'll cut the neckline. As you can see, because of the fold, the area of the neckline is not aligned properly. I can actually reshape this from this point, the center front of the neckline. I will just go this way. Did you see that? This is the final pattern of the combination of the neck dart and the waist dart. 